Hello, everybody. Welcome to tutorial, the first script in this series of free video tutorials we created for you to introduce zero coding algorithmic trading with TS Lab. I am Pavel from algotradinglab.net, and this is my colleague Sylvia. Hi. We hope you enjoyed our previous tutorials where we presented the great features of this program, showed you how to set up and configure TS Lab, and how to create customized charts. In this video, you will learn how to create your first script in TS Lab. You will build a simple yet fully functional trading robot for a moving average crossover strategy. You will find out about the properties of the script editor and we will give you some tips on how to avoid the most common mistakes. Your feedback or comments would be highly appreciated. Get in touch. Let us know what other tutorials you might be interested in. Happy Algo Trading with TSLA! In this part, let us set up the scene for building our first script. You will understand what script means in TSLab and how they are organized in the script manager window. We will show you the properties of the script editor and explain the types of blocks that you will use for creating trading bots. So let the fun begin. In this lesson, we will try to create the first simple script. But first of all, we need to understand what the script is all about. A script is a mini-program or scenario that automates the execution of a particular task. In our case, the task is to enter and exit a position according to a certain strategy or setup. Therefore, our scripts will consist of two main parts responsible for entering and exiting the position respectively. Inside this large part, there will be smaller blocks, which also perform some other tasks. It looks like some sort of a Lego puzzle, from which we will assemble the working mechanism, adjust its parameters and implement it in the trade. So, let's get started. In order to create a new script, go to the Lab menu and open the Script Manager window. This is the window where all scripts are managed. Here you can create scripts, edit, copy, save them and so on. So far it's empty, because we haven't created any scripts yet. Let's see what buttons are in the Script Manager window. The most important is the Create New Script button as it allows you to create a new script. The next button, New Indicator, allows you to create self-made indicators. Next is the Edit button, which opens the selected script. Copy, Delete and Rename. Here I think everything is self-explanatory. Load from File allows you to load scripts made by someone else or on another machine. To save a script to an external file, use the corresponding Save to File button. You can also save all created scripts in one archive using the Bulk Script Export button. I recommend you do this periodically. In order to organize a space in a convenient way, you can create different folders and organize the scripts in them. Below are the buttons for working with containers and agents. We will need them later when we talk about running scripts when trading in the real market. To start with, I propose we create a directory to store our training scripts. Click the Add Folder button. I'll name it the Study Folder. OK. Now select the folder and create a new script in it. Press the button Create New Script. Now this will be our first script. Let's call it that way too. OK. Now the script was created, but we can't see it. Why? Because it was created in the study folder and in order to see it, you need to open the folder. Click on this symbol and now we can see the script we just created. Now, if we want to work with the script selected, press the edit button and voila! The already familiar window of the editor will now open. Why is it familiar? Because it is the same window as the chart editor where we worked in the first lesson. So let's see again what elements we have here. First, it's a working area where we will create scripts. 
Next, in the upper right corner, there are all the blocks needed for our work. It's pretty much the same as a toolbar chart with all the working tools. In the lower right corner, there is a window called Properties, which shows the properties of the selected element. Now the window is empty because no item is selected. If I select, for example, the tradable instrument, we will see the properties of this block. Here you can select the direct quotes for your script. If I select the chart panel, we will see all the properties of the chart. And that's quite understandable. When we select an element, we can see its properties in this window. In addition to the toolbar and properties, you can also see some tabs. This one is the script editor itself. The next tab is the chart tab. Now it is empty because first, we didn't start a script and second, we didn't choose any quotes to work with. The third tab is for the results. When we build the script, we will be able to run and backtest it and see the results as if we were actually trading this strategy. On the next tab, all historical trades and their parameters will be displayed here. The optimization tab will reflect the parameters of the strategy. They can be changed by selecting the optimal ones. Sets of various values of these parameters can be saved and modified. This is done in the next tab. Here, it will be possible to evaluate the results of the strategy with different sets of parameters. In the Log tab, you can see all the working messages of the script, including recalculation time, saving changes, possible errors, and so on. The Profit tab will show the strategy equity curve. It is possible to track the historical performance of the trading account for a chosen strategy. That is how much money you would have made or lost by trading this strategy for this instrument at a particular time. Let's go back to the editor window and before starting to build the script from the blocks, let's see first what kind of blocks they are. We already got to know them a bit in the first lesson when we build charts. Now let's take a closer look. Blocks are the elements of the Lego puzzle. From them we assemble the whole script. In each script we will have the main block, the source, which gives us all the market information. This is a starting point. Then there are blocks that simply transmit something specific. For example, the block close takes all the information from the source and gives you only the closing price of the candle. The same with the blocks open, volume, time and so on. Then there are blocks that process the information directed to them through the links, perform some kind of action and gives us the result. These are various indicators, formulas, blocks that are responsible for some actions. In general, everything that helps us describe a specific market situation, where and when we plan to enter into a trade. The next category of blocks deals with entering and exiting positions and the specific way it is done. And when we organize these blocks according to our strategy, we get the finished puzzle, a ready script. In addition to this classification, all blocks in TS Lab can be divided into two main categories – numeric blocks and logical blocks. As the name suggests, numeric blocks work with numbers. The input and output are also numbers. For example, the SMA block, Simple Moving Average, is a numerical block. As a result of its calculation, we get a number that reflects the average value of the last number of candles. Logical blocks, after processing the inputs, give us the logical outputs in a Boolean form, such as true or false. Take, for example, the intersection block. It transmits true as soon as the connected elements, in this case the moving averages, intersect. In other words, a crossover occurs. The rest of the time it transmits false, which means no crossover occurs. Let's see how it works in practice. Ok, we will do it right away in the next tutorial. To recap, today you have discovered what the script is all about, the properties of the script editor and different types of blocks for your future scripts. Now we are ready to create our first trading bot. We hope it was useful. We would love to hear from you. 
Thank you for watching. See you soon.